Hey y'all, it's Kelsey Janae. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're getting into another full moon pole dance meditation for the full moon in Scorpio. So if this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Kelsey. I'm a pole dancer and pole instructor. I talk about all things pole on my channel. I give you guys tips, tricks, tutorials, and pretty much whatever else I feel like. But today we are going to be talking about using pole dance as a spiritual practice and how we can integrate the energy of the full moon into our pole dance meditation manifestation affirmation session. So this video is going to be broken down into four parts. In the first part, I'm going to talk about the full moon in Scorpio, what it represents and the kind of energy that it's bringing us and how we can use it to our benefit. And in the second part of this video, I will be pulling an oracle card from my Moonology deck, which is the deck I use specifically for these videos every time that I do them. I pull a card for the collective from this deck, just one card to help give us additional guidance to help us work with this full moon. In the third section of this video, we will be doing a guided journal session where I give you journal prompts just to help integrate the energy of the full moon even more and to help us set our intentions and affirmations and then in the fourth part of this video we get into the guided pole dance meditation where I will be pole dancing saying affirmations and help integrating the things that we learned about the full moon and our journal session into our pole dance session so if you're interested in all of that definitely keep on watching or check the timestamps below if you're just interested in one part of this video definitely skip around if you need to but other than that let's get into it all right, so getting into the Scorpio new moon and what it represents. Before I even start, I want to preface this by saying that it is Taurus season. Okay, as I'm filming this video, it is Monday, April 19th, the very first day of Taurus season. And I also happen to be a Taurus moon, so I'm here for all the Taurus energy. And the thing about Taurus is that it encourages us to slow down, to get grounded and take time for ourselves. So coming out of Aries season, we're coming out of a season that was very energetic and fiery. We were getting a lot of things done. But Taurus is here to come in like, all right, sis, now it's time to slow down relax and get reconnected with self so in addition to being still and connecting with self Taurus also encourages us to love on ourselves a little bit okay to be a little bit selfish and to just kind of you know just spoil yourself a little bit like I ain't even gonna hold you in the last week um I definitely blew a bag on some fashion nova some pretty little thing and I got some new pleaser boots coming in the mail sis so if you've been wanting to splurge on yourself now is the time to do it you know obviously don't go crazy but it is a good time to really just take time for you be selfish with you you pour love into you and disconnect from everything else for a minute. Taurus season is a great time to commit yourself to a solid self-care routine, all right, to make yourself feel good, sis. That is very, very important, especially once we go to talk about what's going on with the Scorpio full moon, okay, because there's going to be a lot that's coming in with that. We're really going to need the energy of Taurus and being grounded and connected to self and being centered and being alone as we deal with this full moon in Scorpio. So Taurus season is a great time to commit yourself to a self-care routine to pour back into yourself to make yourself feel good to also just get grounded so for me that looks like going out in nature okay going to the park putting my feet in the grass and just chilling just disconnected from everything it also might look like taking a break from social media I know that's something that I like to do I really like to monitor the time that I spend on social media already and for me I enjoy just not being on it at all but you got to find the balance of course but if you need to take a break from social media even if it's like just for a week or something like that definitely do that it's good to get your mind clear so you need to really eliminate all this outside stimuli that's really not serving us or that's kind of having too much of an effect on our emotions which is going to come up in the Scorpio full moon. So getting into the Scorpio full moon this is going to be a very potent full moon because it is going to be a super moon which means the moon is going to be closer to the earth than normal which also means we're going to be feeling the energy of the moon on a deeper level and with it being in Scorpio sis that means we're going to be having a lot of feelings around this time okay. Okay. Scorpio is a water sign. It's all about emotion. The moon itself is ruled by water, which is emotion. So sis, yes, we're going to be in our feelings a little bit. So don't get beside yourself if you feel like, why am I feeling like this? Like I'm feeling beside myself. This full moon has the potential to bring a lot of emotions to the surface with it being in this watery sign of Scorpio. So think about Taurus season, right? Taurus is all about getting grounded, connecting with self, stability, being centered and stable and grounded and you know just unshaken by emotion right but that is exactly what the full moon is bringing us so again we need to find this balance it's a time for us to examine the emotions that are coming up for us now right it's a time for us to acknowledge them but do not let these emotions become you no matter how uncomfortable you might feel you still got to find the power within yourself to be still and stay grounded and that is really what the key is to this astrological moment right now is to really be still so thinking about balance and not getting too overwhelmed with the 
emotions that may be coming up right now, this is a time to be still and figure out your emotions on your own. And the word that comes to mind right now is intuition because Scorpio is also a very intuitive sign. So you might be feeling more in touch with yourself in general, just on a natural level, because that is what the Scorpio energy is bringing us. But you really wanna pay attention to that. You really wanna develop a deeper connection to yourself, and that is gonna help you be able to deal with all of the emotions and things that may be coming up around this time. Although everything that I'm talking about now, I will make sure to have my resources linked down below of where I'm getting my information from, but I'm also talking from an intuitive perspective as well. For me, I find a lot of clarity when I'm just alone in my own thoughts, thinking by myself and not affected by anything or anyone else outside of me, okay? Because once you have that clarity, that stillness, that quietness, that calmness, you can actually have a lot of realizations come to you just in the moment, just from being with you. If we take the time to really just, one, be real with ourselves, because I think that's very important. You have to be real with yourself and look at yourself in the mirror to address the things that you might be dealing with and why your emotions are being affected in this way but also too you can have the realizations that you need to figure things out if you're just quiet and with yourself for a moment because all of the answers that we need to address anything really do come from within and I can truly say that because that's something I've experienced just over the past year in general from when the pandemic hit at the beginning of 2020 it forced me to sit down and to be alone in my own thoughts and sis when I tell you I've grown so much just on a spiritual and personal level just from thinking things through on my own there is a lot to be said about that and we have so much power within ourselves that we're not even aware of but you can become more aware of it if you take the time to get to know you so with that being said whatever emotions come up at this time for you don't be so quick to act on them and don't be super impulsive this is a time for you to find your inner power to one sit in your stillness because that's hard for a lot of people to do it's kind of hard sometimes to just kind of be alone and be with yourself and be with your thoughts but you have power over all of that you have inner power to control your thoughts and how you react to things which is why it's imperative right now for all the things that may come up for you emotionally during the Scorpio full moon to not act off of impulse okay don't be quick to take action off of things that you're feeling don't be quick to be impulsive just because you are dealing with a certain range of emotions like you need the time to kind of just disconnect step back and figure it out okay this is not a time to make extreme decisions based off of emotion like it's just it's not gonna turn out well sis and I can say that for myself because that's something I have a problem with it's kind of just like acting on things immediately without really thinking on it it's not always the best situation sometimes you really do need the time to step back and think about what you're doing and get that clarity from yourself and your inner power before you do anything at all so the key in this is to really stay grounded right really pull on the energy of Taurus and staying grounded and connected with yourself but to also surrender to the feelings and emotions that come up at this time do not act off of impulse off of emotions that might be coming up at this time no matter how uncomfortable it is because at the end of the day you need to get uncomfortable to be able to grow and move on to the next level to ascend to the next level all right that is true for all of us and our journeys in this life you're gonna have to be uncomfortable a little bit you're gonna have to deal with things that you really don't like but at the end of the day you have the power to overcome it if you stay still for a minute if you take the time to get clarity from within and just be real with yourself so you can overcome anything and another thing about Scorpio is that it's also the sign of transformation again talking about transforming and discernment you need to take the time to figure out what your next move is sis we're all growing we're all ascending we're all moving on in life and life is going to continue to go but we need to have that awareness that discernment that understanding that clarity to be able to have the most easeful transformation that we need in this moment in this time so listen to yourself listen to your body listen to your soul listen to what you are trying to tell yourself in this moment step back from everything else step back from all of the outside I guess energy coming into you the outside stimuli it's all too much sis this is the time to like recalibrate step back relax and get in touch with you so do whatever you can in this time to find your peace whether it's meditating more journaling more going outside more dancing more exercising more do whatever you can alone to help you get connected to you for me that looks like going outside in nature to me that looks like journaling which is the prompt that we're going to get into in a couple minutes here for me it looks like dancing more for me it kind of just looks like chilling at home in this room with my cat and just not being accessible to anyone and I kind of do that too much because I'm an Aquarius son so I already like my alone time and my peace um so it's really easy for me to get trapped into that but honestly it's a really good thing to be able to do to find that clarity that you need so just to wrap up this full moon in Scorpio and the energy that it's bringing us and what it means right now in this time I'm just going to read off what I wrote when I was doing my research and kind of just the things that were coming up for me and the words that were coming up for me at this time so I 
I wrote down, observe your thoughts, but don't let them become you. Stay grounded, stay focused, spend more time loving yourself, but also getting to know yourself. And also take your time taking action, okay? Don't rush, we got all the time we need, there's no need to be impulsive, and don't let your emotions get the best of you, okay? Use them to become the best you. And I'm also gonna share some words that have been coming up for me lately. These are the kind of themes that I've been seeing come up a lot in my life, so hopefully they may resonate with you, but stillness is definitely one of them be still relax be quiet have peace find peace within you discernment that's a huge one that's been coming up for me lately too because the older i get the more i realize how imperative the choices that i make in my life are and how they lead to other things in my life like just as i continue growing and learning i'm really realizing that every decision that you make should be intentional grounded staying grounded connected to self so imperative to develop a relationship with you and only you because you are all you need sis not to sit here and say like nobody else matters but you are your power you are your inner power you need to develop that relationship with you so you can be the best versions of yourself that you can be and just ascend to your highest self and also surrender surrender to the feelings that come up around this time that is really hard for me to do because one being an aquarius sun i don't like emotions in general so when i feel anything i'm uncomfortable as fuck because it's like ooh, emotion but we gotta learn to surrender to that and also surrender to not always having control of things right because that's also a part of life it's easy to get caught up and think like i need to have this this way i need to you know do things like this but no sis life don't always work like that we don't always have a choice or we don't always have the choice that we think we have but we do have the power to overcome obstacles that stand in our way or when things happen that we weren't expecting we have the power to deal with it it's all inside of us and we just need to be still and find it and figure it out so i hope all of this was helpful and resonated with you i'm going to go ahead and get into these oracle cards to help give us additional guidance as we move into the journal prompts and pull dance session so this is the deck I'm going to be pulling from. This is the only deck I use for these videos. It's my Moonology deck, and this is like the perfect deck to use for the full moon, new moon when I make these videos. Um, I'll have these linked down below if you're interested at all. I got them off the Amazon, but we are just gonna shuffle. So I'm asking Spirit to help give us a message for the collective for this full moon in Scorpio. Whatever additional guidance that we need at this time, I'm asking Spirit to give us a card that will help us with that. So we will see what comes out. Still shuffling. I like the cards to, ooh, I got some hair in my mouth. I like the cards to kind of just come out on their own because I feel like spirit is like, here, like take this one. Um, so we will see what comes out as I'm shuffling. But as I'm shuffling, um, let me know how this is resonating with you. Well, look at that. Oh, so two cards actually came out and I'm kind of shook. So two full moon cards came out. I usually only pull one card, you guys, but I feel the need to read both of these because these are the two that came out. But the first card that came out, boom, full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan literally can't make this up full moon in taurus as i'm literally talking about this full moon in scorpio it's taurus season and this is the card that comes up so that's the first one that came out so i'm going to read what it means it comes with this guidebook so i always use this guidebook to see what these cards mean um because personally i only really use this deck when i'm filming these videos so we're kind of learning about it together but I'm gonna turn to the Taurus full moon to see what it says. All right, so full moon in Taurus, your dreams need a practical plan. Sometimes you need to weave a bit of magic and sometimes you need to be practical. And sometimes you need to find a combination of the two. This card suggests that this is where you are now. You need to use the laws of attraction to draw in what you want by imagining it, expecting it, welcoming it, but you need to balance that with taking down to earth steps towards your goals. This isn't about wishing on the moon and hoping for the best. It's about making something like a list of bullet points about how to achieve your dreams. If you're asking about money, this card heralds a change of financial fortunes depending on both your past actions and what you're expecting and therefore attracting. So how we can attune to the moon. 
write down 10 things that you know are wonderful about you. I love that so much. So that can actually be part of the journal prompt. Additional meanings for this card. Laziness could explain your current situation. If so, change that and own it. And y'all, I have to be real with you. I have been very lazy lately. I'm not even gonna hold you. I have been super, super lazy lately. I think in one of my last videos that I did about this, one of the prompts I did in uh, my last, whether it was the full moon or new moon video, I don't remember, but was about how to get to my highest self and things I need to let go of. And I said I need to let go of smoking weed every day, but sis, that's hard. It's so, it's really not hard, but it was really hard for me. Again, just letting emotions get the best of me. And this is why I'm making this video now to hold myself accountable. I haven't smoked today, but yeah, I've been lazy because that I find that's what happens if I smoke too much and I just get lazy and not do anything and I don't feel determined or motivated. So I know I really just need to have sobriety <laughs> as a part of my everyday life as I'm working to build up my channel, build up my pole dancing, whatever I'm trying to do. Since I can't be lazy to do it, so if that's a message for you, then maybe it is, but maybe it's just me exposing myself. Um, But yeah, no, I, I can be real and say I've been lazy and I need to do better. Uh, chasing money doesn't work. You need to chase a dream. And that's also something I realized that money can't be the goal of everything. You have to do everything for your purpose and your highest self. You can't chase money because you won't be fulfilled in the end if that's all you're chasing. Jealousy or envy create negative energy and attract negativity. Whew. Yes, be aware of your thoughts. That's the thing too, Scorpio full moon, we're talking about our emotions, thinking about those negative emotions that might come up for you at this time, sis, get them out of your head. Only think positive thoughts as much as you can. It's kind of hard to do depending on everyone's situation. I mean, we all can have negative thoughts and negative feelings and especially jealousy or envy. Like, let's be real, that comes up sometimes, especially with social media, bro. We're literally online every day, which is why I think it's important to take breaks from social media so you can just cleanse yourself of that energy if that's what you find yourself feeling. All right, the last one, is more exercise is called for and says 100 percent. i've been trying to get my body right these last couple weeks the clients i've been working with lately on my virtual classes online i've been saying like hot girl summer is right around the corner i'm trying to get my body right and i can't do that if i'm being lazy and not sticking to it so again just more transparency for me i need to get better about working out but like i said this is the time to do it and it's a great way to get in touch with yourself now the teaching of this card the full moon in taurus is a time to get back to earth to get grounded to to work through any negative feelings you've been dealing with and to find balance between being passionate and being overly intense. Money issues may come to a head at the time of the full moon in Taurus, but you can take this card as a sign to pay more attention to your cash flow no matter when you draw it. So that is the teaching of this card. I'm going to show you the second card that came out because it was actually the way these cards fell. Um, this one was on top, so I knew this was the main card I needed to read, but this card also fell out, and this card actually came out in my last reading that I did, so this is actually a full moon eclipse. It says conclusions are within reach, so I'll actually just give a little bit. I'm just going to turn to the page and read this. I wasn't going to read it, but I'm going to um, just to see how it lines with this full moon in Taurus card, so let's see what the full moon eclipse says. I'm going to read the teaching, just the overall teaching of this card. Full moons are nearly always about climaxes and very often about conclusions. Full moon eclipses are the same, but on steroids. A full moon eclipse card can be hard to handle because it portends change, something many of us are uncomfortable with. But change is a part of life and this card, no matter when you pull it, reminds you of that fact. Full moon eclipses can also give us a glimpse of what Carl Jung called the shadow self. Work with your darkness. And again, full moon in Scorpio, a lot of energy, lots of deep intuitive energy as well because Scorpio is known to be um, going into the realm, psychic realms, intuition, all that stuff. So if you're into that or you resonate with that, yeah, again, this is a time to dig deep. Dig deep within you regardless if you, you know, feel like you're intuitive or not or believe in, you know, all the deeper realms, blase blase, but you're here on this video so I assume that you do uh yeah it's, it's time to get reconnected to you sis that is everything that these cards are telling us this is the energy that the full moon in Scorpio is bringing us this is the energy that Taurus season is bringing us as well so again I will show you these cards full moon in Taurus and the full moon eclipse this big full moon energy because the thing about these cards is all of the cards show the moon in its different phases in the lunar cycle so the fact that two full moon cards popped out and it's about to be a super moon sis 
just take it all in take it all in i can't make this up conclusions are within and your dreams need a practical plan stop being lazy be real with yourself embrace the emotions and the feelings that are coming up and conquer it sis because you have the power to do it and that is the reading for today so with that being said we're going to go ahead and get into the guided journal session all right so getting into this guided journal session i have three prompts that we're going to be using today the first journal prompt actually comes from the card reading i did earlier in the video i pulled the full moon in taurus card and the prompt that came with that card was write 10 things that are wonderful about you and i absolutely love this prompt because it forces us to really just love on ourselves and that's exactly what i was talking about earlier especially with it being taurus season it is time for us to just think about ourselves and to love on ourselves and i love that this prompt is forcing us to do that so so really take the time to talk about everything you love about yourself because a lot of times it's easy to get caught up in comparing ourselves to other people or feeling like we're not good enough and that's not the case at all because you are perfect as you are so that is why i love this prompt and if you want to write more than 10 things definitely do that because there is so much that is beautiful about each and every one of us the second prompt that i came up with is write three things that keep you grounded and the third prompt is to write three affirmations. So I'm going to take a few minutes to answer these prompts and I encourage you to do the same because after this, I'm going to take everything that I wrote down and integrate them into my pole dance session because I'm going to be meditating on everything I wrote down, especially the affirmations.
All right, so getting into the guided pole dance meditation. The point of this meditation is to take everything I wrote down during the journal session and repeat it to myself over and over to physically integrate my divine creative energy into everything that I'm affirming and manifesting for myself. Throughout this session, you will see me going back and forth between the pole and my journal to really drill everything I wrote down, not only into my mind and subconscious mind, but into my body as well. Now my pole dance meditation sessions are not really structured, however no matter what kind of pole session I'm having, I always make sure to warm up my body and stretch and I really encourage you to do the same because it helps to prepare your body for the workout ahead and minimizes your chance of getting injured. With that being said, after you warm up, feel free to dance in whatever way feels good to you. If you feel like wearing heels, put on some heels. If you feel like being super cozy like I am here and just throwing on some sweats and some socks, feel free to do that as well. And if you don't have a pole at home, you can still absolutely do this meditation without a pole. You can just dance or stretch or even do an exercise routine. The whole purpose of this is to just physically integrate your affirmations into your body. Now, how I'm integrating the energy of the full moon in Scorpio. This full moon is also happening during Taurus season, so here is the type of energy I will be pole dancing with for this meditation. Focus, slowing down, staying grounded, being intentional, and surrendering to divine creative flow. And I'll explain a little bit as to how each of these themes manifested in my pole session. I focused on slowing down and staying grounded. So as you watch me dance, you'll see that I'm moving pretty slow and I'm spending a lot of time on the ground and doing floor work, literally grounding myself and forcing myself not to do too much when it comes to pole tricks. I'm also being intentional about my spatial awareness. My bed is always in my way, but I just use it as a personal challenge. It's an obstacle that's there to help me learn how to maneuver anything that's in my way with ease. I used to get so frustrated with my bed being in my way because I don't have enough space in my room, but I have more than enough space. I'm grateful for my space and I'm grateful for the challenges it presents me because it's helped me to become a better pole dancer by helping me become more self-aware. I'm also surrendering to divine creative flow. That means letting go and letting my body go wherever it wants to. Stop trying to logic your way through pole dancing. Allow your body the space to speak to you without your mind intervening. It's so easy to get caught up in trying to look perfect, but no pole dance session is perfect, okay? You will see me mess up and look awkward throughout this session, but that's real and that's life. You don't always have control and sometimes we think that's a bad thing, but it's really not. The world is vast, possibilities are endless, and sometimes you just have to sit back and let the magic happen. Some of my best pole dancing work comes from me when I'm not even thinking about it and just allowing my body to move. So relax, let go, and just see what your divine creative energy creates for you. Now getting into the affirmations I will be meditating on during this pole dancing session. Feel free to use these affirmations, but I also encourage you to come up with affirmations of your own. I am motivated, creative, and successful. My mind is at peace. Clarity comes with ease. I am my greatest superpower. I am divinely guided and connected to me. So those are the three affirmations I will be repeating to myself throughout this entire session. And that is the way I integrate my manifestations physically into my body to use my divine creative energy to bring everything I want for myself into physical being. So thank you all so much for watching. The rest of this is just going to be me dancing. So please feel free to continue dancing and meditating with me. Let me know in the comments how this resonated with you and I will catch you in the next video.